We'll just cut it whenever we want. We'll just cut out okay. the, the front part of it there. Okay. This thing goes for about an hour. Do you want to say the date? <laughs> sure, yeah. So today is what? The 22nd, I believe, isn't it? So no, it's 23rd. 23rd. So you guys start mm. off and say today is April 23rd, okay. 2006. Okay. Today is uh. April 23rd, 2006, and we're interviewing Janie Rogers in her home in Brady, Texas. Oh. And, and I'm sitting here talking with uh, Nancy, and uh, Jay is standing over there listening, and uh, we're going to, oh, we're just going to reminisce. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, we could start with, uh, I, I was so young, you have to remember, I don't remember too much out in the country mm -hmm. because I was just too little. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, I often wonder how in the house we lived in, I don't know how all the children got in, stayed there. How did they all stay there? I don't know. There were 10 of us. But I, but I don't think the older ones did. As far as I know, Milton probably was already married, Milton mm -hmm. and Alice. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe Sis and Jack were already married. But um, uh, Tim and Warren were not married. How about Golden? Golden, he pretty Close. soon, I'm sure he was, yeah. yeah because, uh, and then uh, I don't remember too much about the homes, uh, the houses. I can't remember. I was too. I was too little. But there was not running water. No, we didn't have. We had well water, and it was always good water, as far as I know. And we had uh, the in the kitchen. We didn't have uh, the only heat we had would be with uh, fireplaces. Mm -hmm. And then of course we had the old wood stove for cooking. And um, I can remember in one house we lived in out in the country. Uh, we would take, uh, you would get your bath once a week, and that was usually on Saturday night. And Mama had a great big wash tub, and uh, that she would heat the water, of course, on the, and make the water right. And I remember getting in that tub, and, and, and I guess she would wash me down because I was just too little, I suppose. And uh, now, whether someone else took a bath in that water, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> but anyway, and then we would uh, always go to church on Sunday Your dad was at Fairview, song. and uh, uh, our dad was the uh, song, le song leader, and he was really good. He had a beautiful voice, we thought, and he did. Uh, he would stand up there with his white shirt, always dressed, and had on his, he wore a bow tie. And he was always a nice looking man. He was kind of tall, broad shoulders, not fat at all, but broad. And I don't know, he always best, I remember him, his hair was kind of, I think when he was young, it might have been kind of a blonde color. Mm -hmm. But it was gray, mostly gray. And um, then uh, once a month, I think it was, if I'm not mistaken, uh, we would have what they called dinner on the ground after church and you everybody brought something but that was pretty well you know that was a thing that was done many many times back back then in the 30s and um, then lots of times we'd go home and a lot of kids several kids would go home with us huh. and how mama did it I don't know she always had uh, either a roast or she fried chicken or something. I imagine she did some of that before we ever left to go to church. Uh -huh. But they'd bring home all these kids, and there were, who, who, however, six or seven of us probably still at home. But we always had lot, always had food, and uh, then the boys would have. Uh, oh, they'd go saddle up the horses and they'd have a little roping in the afternoon, uh -huh. lots of times, if they if if they didn't think our papa was going to catch them out there roping those calves. <laughs> so anyway, uh, and then I remember we moved, uh, of course I went to the first grade in the Fairview schools. And I think I've told you this story before that I, Ernest Martin, who died this year at 100 years old, he was my first grade teacher in Fairview. <coughs> 
there were two buildings, and I was down in the first building where the, I don't know how many grades then, uh, and we would take a bus to school, but we had to walk. Oh, from the house, we had to walk through the pasture. I don't know how far it was, maybe a mile. But uh, in the wintertime, Mama put uh, long cotton stockings on us. Hmm. And if we didn't, we wanted to be real classy, we would, when it wasn't so cold, I remember Joel and I did it, and I don't know who else. Uh, we took those stockings off and we hung them on a tree and we went to school and then when we got back off that bus we put those stockings on so mama didn't know <laughs> that we had done that so but then i cried all the time for first month i guess trying to go uh, because i wanted to go with jewel i was scared i didn't want to stay down in that building i wanted to go with her so mr martin set me down one day one morning and he said now i have to tell you this little girl you have cried your last time. You have to understand you cannot go with Joel to the other building. You are going to stay in this building because she has to go there to her class. This is your class, and I don't want you crying anymore. And would you believe that they told it, I don't remember it, that I didn't cry anymore. <laughs> so I guess. <laughs> And he just died and donated a lot of money to, uh, who did he donate it to, Mom? Oh, he, for the swimming pool. He donated 50000 to that, and he donated uh, quite a bit, I don't know how much, to the uh, senior citizens, I've forgotten exactly what they call it, downtown senior citizens. Uh -huh. Yeah, he did. He yeah. did a lot of donations. Yeah. Did good with his money. Yeah. So... I, I don't know, he must have been, because he went through three wives, oh. and one of them really took him for a loop, I think. Huh. But anyway, she died too. <laughs> I don't want to get boring. <laughs> so anyway, we, I remember one time when we lived out in the country, I always got to go to town, you know, when we go into town. With, Was it the weekend on Saturday you go into well, town? Well, I guess so. And, and lots of the older kids had to stay out and work in the fields and they'd pick cotton, whatever the season was. Uh -huh. And uh, I'd get back, when we'd get back, Mama and Papa would stop the car and uh, let me take the sack that she had bought candies for our kids out there. And so I'd get to go and hand, give them all the candy <laughs> and then we'd go on to the house and unload the groceries. And, and uh, because I was too little, I couldn't work the fields. You know, they didn't want me out there. So, and then I remember when the last few years we lived there, maybe it wasn't the last few years, when cotton picking time, this Charlie, what was his last name? I can't remember his last name. He was a black man. And he gathered up all his friends from in Brady in town and they came out, quite a few of them, and uh, they stayed out there in our barn and picked the cotton during the cotton season. And our, I know our kids, our bro my brothers and sisters worked too, but they picked Got a lot. Got some additional labor, yeah. Because mm -hmm. we had so much cotton. So anyway, then we, uh, by the time I was in the second grade, I believe I'm right, uh, we moved into the town, Brady and rented a house on, uh, our first house was on South Bridge Street, uh, um, excuse me, North Bridge Street, and that house isn't there anymore. I don't, it's, I'm sure something, it's been rebuilt, someone tore it down, and, but it isn't there anymore. That's the first house we lived in. Huh. Then we lived in one old house, I don't know where it is, I can't remember, I don't think Joel does either, it probably does exist, on the south side somewhere, pretty close to that junior high school, um, 11th Street, along in there somewhere. So then you went to Ward Elementary when you moved into town? I went to uh, North Ward. Oh, North mm -hmm. Ward, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, I, when, we, when we still lived on the north side when I started uh, in, uh, well we always lived on the north side, when I started uh, junior high. Mm. 
Well, I take that back. We did live over on the south side for a little bit, but most of our time was spent over on the north side. And then I went to junior high, and then, of course, from there, I went to the uh, Bradley High School. Graduated in 1944. And then I went to uh, business college in Austin, Strong's Business College. Uh, I was there for, oh, I don't know, a number of months. I don't know how long it was. And uh, I remember taking, when I wanted to come home, I'd have to ride the bus. I rode the bus from Austin back to Brady. You didn't have a car there? Mm -mm. How'd you get, you just walked to your uh, school from your house in uh -huh. Austin? Mm -hmm. Yeah, or it seemed like sometime I would, if I was really running late or something, they had city buses, and I think maybe I did take a city bus sometimes. I can't remember. It was quite a little walk, I mm -hmm. think. So, and then. Uh, How long did you do that for? Uh, oh, I don't know. A I'm year or two? Six, no, I'm not sure. Six to eight months, maybe a year. I just can't remember. You took typing and that kind of All thing? All stuff, secretarial stuff. Uh -huh. Stenography and. Uh huh, uh huh. And then when I came back home, first job I had was uh, at the uh, Warren Price, the Moore, what they call it? Oh. Office. Rationing, Rationing board. board, yeah. And I worked there until they, actually, I guess until they closed it because, you know, they did close them after so long time, after mm -hmm. so many months, after the war had ceased, the Second World War. And then I got a job with. Uh, the Empire Southern Gas Company. And that's the only two jobs I actually ever had here in Brady. Well, you helped out your parents' restaurant in town when you were in high school, didn't you? A I bit? did some. I did. I go. Uh, yeah, I guess I did quite a bit. Uh, but of course, when I was in school, I didn't do too much. Mm -hmm. Maybe I would work a little bit in the afternoon. But see, I didn't really go home for lunch. And during the school year. How would you get to your high school? Would you, well, did anyone I, have a car? Or? When I was a senior, I did. I took the car. Your family car? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Most of the time I'd take my car, I'd uh -huh. take our car. But I don't remember, Nancy. How'd I get there? Maybe a bus. Huh. Maybe I Maybe rode the bus. Maybe you had a school bus, yeah. I might have had a school bus that picked us up. Because I know I didn't walk. It was too far from the north side up to the, up way up here to the high school. Mm -hmm. So. Huh. When did you meet Beulah Ann? When did all that happen? That's when after I moved to uh, San Angelo and I went to uh, the, uh, I went through uh, a refresher course of, up there at, uh, back then it was San Angelo, not uh, junior college, was it junior college? It's a four-year college now, of course. Back oh. then, it wasn't. Oh, is it San Angelo? Is it San Angelo State now? Uh huh. San oh, Angelo but back State. then it was a two-year yeah. college. Uh huh. Uh huh. And I took another uh, round of uh, business courses. Uh huh. And I actually, that's where I met Bill Lane. Yeah. And then, uh, at the time, I had just a room in uh, a lady's home, real nice. They had two little boys and. They were just real super lady. And uh, did you have a car at that point? Uh huh. I took the family car. Oh, did you? Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. It was a little. Oh, what year was it? It was a little Chevrolet green. Huh. Chevrolet. Yeah, I had. That this. was nice. You were able uh, to take that. Yeah, I had a car. And then you met Beulah and you moved in with her and her. And mom? After a while, I did, and her mom. They lived in a. Her her dad had died not too many years before that. He was a, oh, I don't know. He worked out at a, a commission company, cattle commission company, where they would sell cattle and all kinds of things every week they had. He did something out there. Mm. And they lived out at the edge of town and they had one of these, oh, it was just a beautiful old home. Great big two-story uh. home, red brick. And uh, they had uh, two girls. They, they had it uh, at the side. There was a, 
I guess it's just you know, a regular apartment. And I don't know if it, I can't remember if it was a garage at one time. I, I don't know. I can't remember. But two girls lived there. And they, Mulan wanted me to take a room, and I just had a room. Mm -hmm. And I had my meals there. Well, not lunch, of course. But uh, I had my meals there. And then when I got through with finished my classes uh, that I was taking there at the junior college, I started looking around. I can't remember exactly. I don't know. I think Mrs. Fulgham probably helped me, the lady I was living with. Or maybe Bulan did finding a job, and I uh, probably from the newspaper ad or something called, and I went down and interviewed for the job with uh, it's called Cactus Drilling Company, and uh, Frank Light owned it, and he also owned uh, his, the office was it was a real tacky building. It was just a little two-story thing across from his. Uh, I believe it was Home Motors. He was. Anyway, he was a Chevrolet agent. Uh. And of course, he had a big, beautiful building over there. But the building that we were in was kind of tacky, but, <laughs> but, but it was nice inside. And uh, let's see, there was one little gal that was set in the, she's kind of a receptionist. And there was two guys that were Oh well, one one of the older guys was pretty much ran the whole shebang, and then there was me. One, two, three. It was about four gals, no. So, and I worked there, and then I met John. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And you were introduced by who? Eileen McShann. She worked for Empire Southern Gas Company too. But she was from Brady. You knew yeah, from Brady. she was from Brady, but. She transferred and lived up in Pampa. She wasn't in Brady anymore. Oh. She she went to Pampa. Transferred up there. Yeah. So uh -huh. anyway, uh, that's when it all started. Now, <laughs> you and Dad got married in a, the minister's home. home. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And where? Methodist minister. Oh, where, what city was that? What town? San Angelo. Oh, okay. Yeah. And Mrs. Johnson and uh, Wanda, her sister was our only people there with us. Huh. Mm -hmm. So you just wore a nice dress and Dad wore a nice suit? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I wore a real pretty white, it actually is white, uh, cotton kind of applique. It was real pretty. Yeah. And he wore a nice suit. Now did you take mm -hmm. Dad home to Brady to introduce him to your, well, by yes, then it was we, just your dad. And yeah. We went through, uh, yes we did, and we went to uh, we went to Galveston, I believe. For your honeymoon? Yeah, I you started to say Corpus Christi, but it's Galveston. Yeah. We just took our time, and I don't remember where all we stopped. His parents were in, not at home, they weren't in Austin. Where were they? They were in Tennessee. Oh. And they had been gone, they were gone for, oh, several weeks. Were they visiting relatives in Louisville? Uh -huh. Oh. They were in Tennessee visiting well, relatives. And uh, we didn't want a big wedding anyway. Uh -huh. I'm sure it just blew their mind. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it did, Grandma. Because <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> I bet she was really pissed. Because she I bet wanted... she said I shouldn't go out of town anymore. <laughs> <laughs> because she, you know, would have wanted a big shebang. Uh huh. Knowing her uh -huh. and all her club work and oh, and her, she was so press much prestige. And, and uh, oh gosh, I'm sure she thought John Barrett, some old gal, didn't know her <laughs> self anything. <laughs> Don't want to say that on camera, Mom. <laughs> uh, no, no. <laughs> huh? But anyway. So did you meet uh, Grandma and Grandpa at, at, at the end of your honeymoon, or was it another time no, that you met? Afterwards, we went on back to uh, Big Spring. Because that's where Dad was from. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's where he's working. And you just moved in his apartment. Yeah. Then. He had. He had a. Uh, actually, it was a garage apartment. Mm -hmm. It was real nice. It was just, uh, I remember, one great big room and a kitchen and a bath. I think it was just one great big room. He had some chairs and, of course, a nice bed and things like that. But, And then uh, we only lived there about, you know, I just don't remember how long, but it wasn't a, but a few months until 
first thing we knew, Grandma and Grandpa suggested that they loan us a little money. I think first was 10000 Wow. And we bought that little house that Jay has seen. And that's when, and, and we lived in that little house when Jay, Jay was born. born. It was yeah. a cute little house. Yeah. Huh. And I don't remember what we gave for it. Probably 25000 maybe. I don't know back then. It was, in, of course, in the 50s. But it was a cute little house. It had a pretty backyard. Huh. Yeah. And uh, so, anyway, uh, they adjusted to the fact that we just got married while they were in Tennessee. <laughs> might not have, Grandma might not have ever forgiven us, I don't know. But <laughs> she, I think she did. But <laughs> she, she seemed to be pretty well pleased. When did you meet Aunt Betty then? Well, would you believe we, uh, Betty and Smitty, came uh, to see us before we moved out of the little apartment. Oh, did they? Uh huh. And they left. They had uh, only had Bob and and uh, Jack with them. Janet, I can't remember now who kept Janet. But, but Janet was a baby, real small, and for some reason they didn't bring her. Hmm. And. Uh, but they came and visited with John and I when we were still in the garage park before oh, we moved. Okay. So that was pretty soon after we married. Uh huh. And, but I remember they had Jack and Bob. Of course, Jack and Bob were small. Uh huh. And uh, because Jack was born in '52, I think. I think that's right. And then Bob was Bob's what three years younger than Jack or two? About two, I think. Yeah. So. Anyway, they, yeah. And what did you think of Aunt Betty? Well, I, I liked Betty. Did yeah. you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I remember I cooked, because uh, I didn't know how to cook, <laughs> hardly. <laughs> I never cooked much of anything. But I cooked a ham, that, and it was pretty good. It seemed like I had some beans, and I don't know what else I had. You tried. I tried. So. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't starve, anyway. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. So... That's how it all started. Huh. Yeah. Then, pretty soon, um, John decided that he wasn't going to go very far with the Empire. You know, there just wasn't much. So, until we could really get settled, uh, Leon and Joe wanted us to move in, in with them and stay a while. And they lived in Highland Park there in Dallas. They had a beautiful home until we found something to rent or something like that. So uh, we did. Did you put your house up for sale then in Big Spring? Yeah, I'm sure we did. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, we did. We, uh, we sold it. I don't have no idea. I bet John doesn't know either. Uh -huh. Or if he were here, I bet he wouldn't know what we, I don't know what we sold it uh -huh. for. But we did sell it. And uh, then we uh, moved on to Dallas. I stayed with Joe and Lee and, oh, I don't know, two or three months, I think, was all something like that. We knew it wasn't going to be permanent. Uh -huh. And then that's when we bought the house on, the uh, little house on Ellsby, and there in North Dallas. That's a cute little house. Uh-huh. And moved there. Was it new when you bought it? Mm -mm. No, and it wasn't new. I don't know how old it was, but it sure wasn't new. But it was... Uh, a nice little house had uh, two bedrooms, and I'm sure just one bath. I don't remember, but I'm sure just one bath. And then there was a that one big room there, and had that big picture window. And I guess that, that was kind of the living room, dining room, if I remember correctly. And then it seemed like there was a little at the back. There was a kind of like a little. A little stoop, wasn't it? Uh, no, like a little porch or something back there, but it was uh, closed in oh. at the back. Because I had sent, and I can't remember now what happened to that piano. I had sent from Brady my old piano, upright piano oh. I had. Yeah. And it was, we had it out there on this little huh. section there where the, I don't know what I did with it. Must I was going to say, what it. became of that? Must have sold it. I didn't know that you was, play. I didn't know that you. Well, I had taken lessons, but I never did learn very well. Uh, you know, I didn't take them long enough to, to really 
do much. Uh-huh. I could do some chords, and that's about, about it. But I had, had had intended to, but I didn't. Huh. Anyway, I remember we had that pet, and it was, a, oh, one of those great big oh, uh, uprights. Uprights, yeah. Heavy. Huh. So anyway, then John went to work for. First, he worked for Glidden Paint Company. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh huh. He did. He, it was a pretty good what, job. What was he doing? Well, he was just a little salesman in their. Uh, uh, in the store. In the store. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess he made pretty good. I can't remember now. That but, didn't last. That, that no. Uh, well, he knew that he couldn't support a family you know. on that. So then he decided that he'd uh, look around and he went to. Uh, uh, I think he got this out of a newspaper, probably. The ad out of the newspaper, and he checked out Dictaphone. And that's back then, you know, when they you were doing recording and things like that. In fact, we got a picture of Jay sitting in the bed with his diaper on, I think. And he's got one of those up the store. He's just so intent on that. <laughs> he, just, he loved it. And, and uh, so he was with Dictaphone quite some time. And then... I don't know what happened. To, uh, grandma always wanted because Grandma and Grandpa were good friends of the Pepsi bottler in Austin. They were played poker with them and went to the same church and all that bit. And right off, right off the top of my head, I can't think of their name. Was it the Hark Riders? No, no. Huh? Do you remember Jay? <sighs> I can't remember the name. I might think of it later. Anyway, and so he saw this ad or Summer he did. Off. No? No. Uh, Summer all worked for Pepsi. Oh. He was one of the big shots. Oh. Anyway, he went to an interview there in Dallas at the Dallas office of Pepsi Cola. That was one of their, uh, oh, what did they call them? It wasn't the home office. Regional office? Yeah, regional office. And they hired him. And from there, First place they sent us was uh, from Dallas. The first place they sent us was to uh, Wichita, Kansas, and we were there. What one year? So you just couldn't take it any longer. I didn't like it at all. <laughs> and then from there it started to Little Rock, from Little Rock to yes. Atlanta, from Atlanta to Memphis, from Memphis to Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and I remember, let's see, uh, Nancy, you were born, Jay was born in Big Spring, Nancy, you were born in Dallas, and uh, of course Mary Elizabeth was born in Wichita, and of course Grandma and Grandpa came up to Wichita when she was born. And when you were born in, in uh, of course, they came to uh, Big Spring when Jay was born. He was the cutest little boy. <laughs> and I don't remember how long they stayed. Where would they stay? Were they, you had such small houses. Where would, would they? Well, we had two bedrooms. And uh, I had a, well, of course, I had a baby bed for Jay. And we must have had uh, uh we must have had another bed in there, huh? Because I know I don't think that house had three bedrooms. I don't think it would. And uh, then, when you were born, we took uh, John took Jay because it was. In the, I started having pains, kind of early evening, I guess, or I don't know what time of night. But I knew I had to go in, and uh, so we took Jay over to uh, Leon's house and let, she, he stayed with Joe and Lee and, and you were born sometime after midnight and uh, around and I, and then when after everything got settled down I remembered I think I told you this they didn't have a room at, uh, at the hospital available so they I woke up and I was out in the hall <laughs> they laughed they said well they were had a room they were going to put me in a room I remember I wanted some orange juice and crackers, and they brought me some. So, uh, 
Jay went, uh, John went over and picked up Jay and took him back home with him for the night. He didn't leave him at uh -huh. Leon's. And uh, yeah, I told Leon and Joe what you had been named. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, and they came to uh, uh, Kansas when Mary Elizabeth was born. Grandma and Grandpa did. Grandma and Grandpa did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And stayed, I don't know, several days, probably a week. I don't. I just can't remember exactly. But uh, they always drove. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. They were. Uh, she was born in uh, August. Okay, they came back at Christmas time when we lived there. Huh. And uh, they started back. We had Christmas a little bit early because they were going to come back into Dallas and have Christmas with. Smitty and Betty and Smitty. We probably had Christmas on um, Christmas Eve or something, and they left on Christmas morning, I think, to drive back. And they got in the snowstorm, and they got hung up somewhere, and they couldn't. They had to spend the night. They couldn't. They couldn't go any farther. It really, it really snowed. So they were running late getting back into Dallas. Huh? But they made it okay. So, huh? Uh, well, where was your favorite place that you lived, Mom? In, in all the places you've lived, all the different towns, what what do you think well, is your favorite place? I, I think I might have a couple, probably. I guess the fa most favorite place would be the Atlanta Roswell area. Mm -hmm. I think I enjoyed that the most. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Memphis was okay, I guess, uh, you know, and so was uh, the Chicago area. I just didn't like Kansas, yeah. Wichita, Kansas. Yeah. And, uh, Although it got cold, we had the snow in Chicago, that wasn't yeah. good. No, that wasn't too good. But then again, your kids enjoyed it because you could take, you learned how to ice skate. Mm -hmm. And uh, you'd take your skates, throw them over your shoulders, and go up with the other kids right up to that little school, and you'd ice skate at night. You learned how. I remember we bought our, yeah, I guess we did buy one of those little seats things for Mary Elizabeth because she was so small. And I know Jay basically would push her out on the ice on that. Huh, a saucer? Yeah, kind of like a saucer, uh huh. And uh, y'all had your skates. Uh huh. So, you know, you, uh, even though that's true, it would be. I know Jay had to shovel the snow once in a while, and he kind of got kind of got tired of that. <laughs> but he made it okay. That's probably what causes bad back. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. It could be. You better get ready for a lawsuit on that one. <laughs> and uh, uh, I enjoyed Memphis, and we lived in Memphis what two years? Two years. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, but I guess my favorite probably was the Roswell area, mm -hmm. Atlanta, yeah. People were friendly. Yeah, and then you kids were of an age where, you know, you weren't babies anymore. Mm -hmm. and uh, uh, We were active, so you were active yeah. because we were active. Mm -hmm. You met mm -hmm. a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I can remember, like, uh, of course, it, <laughs> you and Jay were both kind of accident prone. <laughs> <laughs> with both of you on crutches at one time, and uh, so, uh, but we had uh, we had some real good times, and it was I know it was a fun time for you kids too, really. Well, then in Costa Mesa though we had the pool, and that was uh -huh. fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we moved to California, and that was fun. Yeah. And I enjoyed the, I enjoyed that house too, yeah. But as far as Pepsi days, it was the uh, Atlanta area that I enjoyed mm -hmm. most. And then from there, well, I enjoyed Costa Mesa, of course. And then uh, I didn't enjoy the, I didn't like the little flop we made going to Ventura. Yeah. I didn't enjoy that at all, and uh, but then we got settled, mm -hmm. and it was all okay. It's just that it was a long way 
was we discovered it was a long way from Orange County to Santa Maria in San Luis Obispo. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it was uh, not too far for y'all to get there. But I can remember, too, <laughs> when we left Costa Mesa for the first time moved to Santa Maria and we <laughs> ran into this apartment for you and Jay. And John and I would sit back. We were so proud of ourselves. We said, well, we put them with an old folks home. Well, they, we know they're going to be okay. <laughs> they're with all those old people. <laughs> You're right. And then we go down one weekend and whose clothes are in that closet? Those <laughs> old Kurt's clothes in that closet? Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. But anyway, we still said... <laughs> We still said we made a good deal. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, but we, you know, we, my favorite house in, uh, uh, up though on the coast had to be the last house. I loved that house. Did you? Uh huh, I did. Well, I liked the house on, on uh, Doverly too, mm -hmm. the first one. Of course, before that, we just had rented and an apartment, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, townhome. Townhome, yeah. Uh -huh. But uh, <clears throat> I enjoyed the uh, Doberly house too. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I like the house on the uh, uh, clubhouse. Clubhouse, yeah. Of course, the uh, it wasn't bad. Uh, trying to think, how many years did we live in San San Luis Obispo? Two, three, four. four two. No, more than that. We lived yeah. four years up there, I guess. Yeah. Because we came back, I guess we did, because we came back uh, to uh, Santa Maria in 90, about 93, I you guess. Moved, you moved to San Luis in the fall of uh, 89, because mm -hmm. after Mary, you got married. That's right. Uh-huh. Yeah. We did. So and five years, almost five years, probably yeah. four and a half. Mm-hmm. It's about right. And then, see, we uh, sold uh, the uh, one store uh, in 96, I guess. I can't remember now. No, 97. And when we moved to back to Orange County, we still owned that Marsh Street store. That was in 97. But before the year was up, we sold that store. Back to seven. Uh -huh. And and so, that was the end of that. Actually, I think before ninety seven was uh, over. Yeah, hmm. probably. So actually, uh, John actually didn't get to. He didn't get to enjoy it. Retirement. Costa del Sol retirement very long, not really. But you know, before we ever moved, he had already had several strokes and it had affected his speech. I before remember. we ever retired and moved back to Orange County. Yeah, yeah. You knew so, it was time to get back to Orange County. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I remember you, that's what you kids thought we should do anyway. And, and that's true, that's, that was what we should do. Oh, I think we did make the right move there <clears throat> because it would have been a long trip Every time. Yeah. 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 Let's rest a little bit, Jay. Okay. Yeah. Let's, the the, let's get the, got the light we'll on. We'll just cut this off here. There. Yeah. Problem. Well, I'm going to start with uh, my uh, uh, my family. Uh, I had six brothers and three sisters. There were ten of us. I'm number ten. Uh, with Milton, he's the oldest. He was always a real sweet one. He uh, uh, never really held down a job except worked on a ranch for someone else. He never owned anything himself as far as a business or anything, but I guess he survived. He had two children, had a real sweet wife. His two children, I kind of felt sorry for them because they lived always lived out in the country and they had a hard time getting through school to wow. school, much less. Well, the, uh, uh, the daughter graduated from high school, but the son never did. I don't know what grade he went through. 
but anyway, they had they, they had a a good life, and we just loved them dearly. And we visited. They lived down in the uh, Kerrville country, which was gorgeous, and it still is. And they're all dead. They're all the son and the daughter, and of course Milton and Alice, his wife. Uh, the next one was uh, our sister Sis. And when she, and I just love my sis. <laughs> she was an old sweetie. She was married to Jack, and he just was just like a uh, a son in the family. And they had two boys, which we just adore. Uh, I used to. Uh, they lived out in the country when they first married, and uh, uh, I was real little. And sis would come over and visit, and and uh, sh I would want to go home with her, and. Uh, she would take me, and I can remember riding in one of the old, I guess, Ford cars, and it had uh, four seats. I don't know what model it was, but I would ride up in the front seat with Sis, and, and it had the windows, the old windows, and I can just see it. And I'd go home with Sis, and then when it got dark, I'd cry. I wanted to go back home to Mama. And Sis did that several times, and then one time she cured me. She said, no, I won't take you back home. You're going to stay with me tonight. So I guess I didn't cry anymore. Maybe <laughs> I didn't go back and stay with her. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, she was a sweetie, and uh, she died in the year 2000. Uh, Golden was next, and uh, he was an old sweet, sweet guy, too, I, you know. He married uh, Ira May, and they had one daughter, the one daughter, Mabel Ruth, and uh, he worked, to, to, to begin with, he worked out on the farm, not our farm, but for someone else for quite some time. Then they moved into town, and I don't really know what he did to begin with, but at one time, later on in, in his, his life, he was the uh, chief of police. In Brady. In Brady for a number of years, until he died, he developed emphysema and uh, he retired, and he lived for several years. But he died also, and then uh, his wife lived to be in her 90s, and she died in the year 2001, I think, or two. When, One. Did, when did Uncle Golden die? Wasn't it 1968? 69? He died in 1968, I believe it was. We lived in Atlanta. I remember I flew back, uh, and um, uh, he, their daughter Mabel Ruth still lives, and we lives here, and we see her children. She has uh, uh, two daughters and two sons, and the next one was uh, Warren, I believe, would be next after Sis, the, my, one of my brothers, and he married a girl. Edith from Loan. They had one son, George Warren Jr. He doesn't live here, but he's a real sweet guy. Warren was a real sweet guy. I didn't, never didn't know him all that well because I was so little, and the older ones, uh, I, you know, I, I wasn't around them all that much. But uh, uh, I always, yeah, I, Warren said, always like me. Yeah, he, did, he always said he did. He just. My, I think I was his favorite sister. <laughs> and anyway, uh, he developed cancer and he died in 1993. And his wife, Edith, still lives here. His son lives in Georgia. And uh, they have two sons of their own. And the next one is uh, would be uh, Tim. And uh, Tim was an old sweetie. I didn't know him too well either. He married a girl named Gertrude Jones. Her last name was Jones. No relation. She was from, uh, oh, I think Melvin Miller's View, I think was the name of the town. She was a nurse. And, and I don't know what Tim did to begin with exactly what he was working at. But he became the manager of the, uh, oh, the uh, producer's. Co-op? Co-op. 
and it was Farmers and Ranchers Co-op, excuse me, that was the name of it. And he was the head of that for years and years until he died, until he retired and got so sick he couldn't. He died in 1987 hmm, maybe, can't remember the exact year. And uh, he had three daughters, he and Gertrude had three daughters and they all s still live, they don't live here. One daughter does, but the others do not live here. His wife is still alive. She's 90 years old. The next one is uh, Nay, Nyalma. We called her Nay. She married once and she's real young. She lived in San Antonio. I never saw the man she married. Uh, she didn't stay married maybe a year. I don't know. And I don't know why she married him. I don't know why she divorced him. Don't I, I have no idea. But anyway, she was... Uh, she was a sweetie, but she was a kind of an odd one, oddball too. Um, she uh, always worked, and she worked at the Brady National Bank for a number of years, and then she got uh, slap happy and decided she wanted. She worked in Houston for several years before she came back to Brady. And then she worked in the bank for a number of years. Then she just decided she wanted to go back to Houston, so she went. She knew the people there. She got a job, it was a good job, uh, with a, uh, oh, I want to say a lending company, I uh, can't think of the name of it, but anyway, it was a, a real good job. She made pretty good money for back then. And then she uh, got real sick with emphysema, and she had to retire. She came back to Brady, and uh, she stayed with Jewel for a number of years. And she died in 1978. And then we have Yoel and Joel next. They're twins. Okay, Joel's still vibrant, 85 years old, just going like a bat out of hell. And <laughs> Yoel was in the Navy, and he, of course, he was married and had uh, uh, three daughters and one son. And uh, two of the daughters live here, and the son lives here. One daughter lives in San Angelo. Uh, he married a girl from Mason Helen. She was an old sweetie, and she died of a heart attack in 1993. Yule was, uh, I guess you'd call him pretty much an alcoholic, and he, I think he had a lot of other problems too. And he was uh, a kind of a wing dinger, but uh, he died in. Uh, 1998. What did he do for a living, Mom? Well, he worked for, uh, oh, that's right, he, uh, actually he worked for uh, Roddy and Company for uh, many, many years, and then he went into, uh, maybe through them, I don't know, but he was a wool buyer. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, he inherited the ranch down at Mason from Helen's family that Robert has. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, he used that for a while. I got where he wouldn't go down there after he got sick, but you know he inherited that. So uh, anyway, I think he kind of drank himself to death. Probably, who knows? But he was a sweetie. And uh, Jewel, well, Jewel, uh, she married young too. She married a Virgil Bryson, a boy from here. And they were married about two years, I think, something like that. They didn't have any children. And they just didn't, she just didn't like married life, living in the country. And, and you know, I don't think they had any really hard, hard feelings, but they just got a divorce. She took her name back, Jones. She worked for uh, the Deaton Dry Cleaners for, well, she worked once in a restaurant downtown. And then she went to work for the Dry Cleaners, uh, Deaton's Dry Cleaning. and. Uh, then finally, it was bought out by someone else, Dave Quinn. And uh, then Dave had it for a number of years, and he wanted to sell, and she bought it. She owned a dry cleaning plant for 49 years. Wow. And in the meantime, she met Gerald Yarbrough, and uh, they married in 1980. Been married 20 years this year, so what would that be? 86? I guess so, yeah. They've been married 20 years. And they, of course, don't have any children. Gerald has a son and a daughter by his first wife. But uh, she's 
lives right behind me and just uh, still blows and goes, probably outlive me. And then we have Wayne, and uh, Wayne was an old sweetie. He worked, uh, to, well, he, of course he was in service, just like you all was in the Navy, and Wayne was in the Air Force. He flew 33, oh, what are they called, what did they call them? Combat missions in uh, World War II? in Europe in World War II, and of course he had a little drinking problem himself, and um, throughout his whole most of his adult life, would yeah, you say? I would say so, pretty much. After he came back from the service, pretty much, and uh, he married uh, Monty Leach, and they had one son and one daughter. The son lives here, the daughter lives in in Austin, and Money Wayne died in nineteen. What did we say? Um, 1987, I think. I believe it's 87. And uh, he worked for uh, Jewel most of the time in the dry cleaning plant. Most of his most of his time was spent there. At first, he had a service station, and then he didn't make much money in that. And finally, I think they sold that or turned it back or something. And he went to work for Jewel in the dry cleaning plant, and that's where he stayed. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, then it's me, <laughs> that, you know, then you come down to me. Okay, then I'm not going to have much time for, for, for you. How much time do we have left? Pause. 11 minutes. Okay. Take Let's see what I'm going to say about my little old son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I just wish everybody had one like him. They'd be happy. He's such a, he, he's just my, he's just my love. <laughs> <laughs> he's your J boy. He's my J. Anyway, uh, he was a, he was a pretty good boy growing up. Um, you know, he didn't, didn't give any trouble and, and uh, uh, he, all in all, he's real good. He loved to make money. First job was with the McDonald's <laughs> in Chicago area, where we lived, and uh, he uh, uh, nearly always had some kind of job, uh, and he was, uh, uh, he was just just a good boy. <laughs> and, and I and I know and and uh, his dad I always thought he just was just the one and only boy. That, that that's the only one in the world. Mm. Yep, he did. He's he's always so good to his sisters. Thank God, I, I'm so proud of that. Oh, I am. And then we have, and he was, of course, he was born in Big Spring, and uh, grew up in all the different t t states that we lived in, just like all three of them were, of course. And uh, so. Now I'm going to go to Nancy now. Nancy's the second child. She was born in Dallas. By the way, Jay was born in Big Spring. I forgot to say that. <laughs> Nancy was born in Dallas. And uh, she uh, was her, the apple of her dad's eye for an awful long time. He always thought it was Nancy with the laughing face. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, so I remember once though, with when we lived on Ellsby, and they were uh, before Mary Elizabeth was born. It was Easter time, and I have this picture somewhere, and it's absolutely adorable. Jay and Nancy, and they're out in the front yard. John took the picture, I think. And Jay's got his little short pants on, and he's dressed so cute, and he's standing there. He was mad about something. I don't know what. <laughs> And Nancy was dressed in her little Easter dress, and we were going to hide eggs. I guess we already had, but John was going to take their picture. And I think Jay was just, just mad because he didn't want to have his picture taken. This is where so, I lost my cell phone. Just so he just stood there, just straight, with his hands down <laughs> by his side, and just with a kind of like that, you know. And I tried to get him to smile, but he wouldn't smile. He was so mad. But anyway, that's a cute picture. And. Uh, then I remember Nancy from, uh, uh, especially when we lived in uh, uh, Wichita, Kansas, I guess. We didn't have a fence in the backyard, but we had a 
swings and things back there for the children to play on. And I remember looking out there one day. She was on the swing. She was just swinging as so big, and she was just singing, Jesus loves me. Yes, I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then when we lived in, when we lived in uh, Atlanta, uh, Roswell, on Corinth Court, our mailbox was way down at the end of the street. And I looked out there one day, and it was a, a mailbox up on a post. And I don't know how she got up on top of the mailbox. I, I guess she climbed that post. And she was sitting on top of that mailbox, singing, Jesus loves me. <laughs> I thought, oh. Yes, I know. <laughs> yes, I know. I often thought, oh, gee, I wish I had a picture of that. But there she was on top of the mailbox. <laughs> so anyway, uh, she was... Uh, uh, oh yeah, she was a rounder, but she was, uh, she was one that uh, we really, really loved, and we just uh, loved the, the guy she married, Kurt. He just almost like a son to me. I just adore him, and of course they've been married uh, twenty something years, twenty four. And uh, they have two daughters, Sarah and Kristen. Very, very adorable. They're both in college. And uh, we adore them, too. Uh, Nancy's very outgoing. And she uh, does a real good job. Of, she runs her insurance company. Probably runs Kurt a little bit, too, imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he holds his own. And uh, I forgot to say what Jay did for a living. But Jay is a, an engineer with Lockheed Martin. He's been with them 20 something years, 22 years. And uh, he uh, works out of, uh, in Colorado at an Air Force base. And uh, he uh, is, uh, can tell you all about the satellites. I don't know what my word is. <laughs> I don't know what my word wants to be. <laughs> anyway, he's, uh, he's done very, very well, has a beautiful home, and uh, we're very, very proud of him. Nancy and Kurt have a beautiful home, and we're very, very proud of them. Uh, I guess I'll go to Miss Mary E. next. She's the youngest. And she uh, was a cute little girl. And I think Nancy drove her crazy a little bit. But, <laughs> but they are very close now, sisters, and uh, uh, which we're very, very pleased with. And well, they were never, they never did really fight all that much. Nancy would whack her every once in a while, I think, but then again, that's okay. <laughs> and, and Mary Elizabeth, uh, uh, I can't remember her doing much of anything out of the ordinary mm -hmm. when she was little, but uh, anyway, she married uh, Amat to Juden, who is, uh, I guess we would say he's Asian, and uh, a real, real nice guy. She went through, she went through uh, uh, college and got a bachelor's, then she got uh, her master's and she was a librarian. She still is, of course, but she hasn't been working for several years because they have a little girl that's six in the first grade now and a little boy that's 12, first year in junior high. And uh, Amat, her husband, is an, uh, an architect. He has his architect firm in Orange County. So they're have a lovely home, and we're very, very proud of him. And uh, how much time do I have left, Jay? Huh? Fifty-four minutes. Oh, <laughs> fifty-four minutes. Oh no, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> anyway, oh yeah, we couldn't be more proud. Of, I couldn't be. They, my children, have been so good to me. Mm. Everybody should have three, just like them. I wish they did. About and now I'm going to cry. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs>